So in another video we talked about the simplest type of third multiplications like doing things like the square root of 2 times the square root of 3 uh, giving us the square root of 6 or you know 2 times the square root of 3 just being written as 2 times the square root of 3 so we're not going to talk more about that here what I really want to look at is slightly more complex multiplications things like 2 plus the square root of 3 times 3 plus the square root of 7 and if you're are good at multiplying out algebraic brackets you'll find these uh, fairly easy so if you uh, what we really want to do is just to multiply each of the terms in the left hand uh, bracket by each of the terms in the right hand bracket in exactly the same way we do for uh, multiplying out algebra uh, algebraic brackets so I'm going to do 2 times uh, 3 to start off with and get 6 then I'm going to do 2 times the square root of 7 and then I'm going to do square root of 3 times 3 which is 3 root 3 and then finally I'll do uh, the square root of 3 times the square root of 7 uh, which is then 6 plus uh, 2 root 7 sorry uh, plus 3 root 3 and then plus the square root of 21 and we can't combine any of these terms any further because they're different uh, third expressions. Uh, another example we could do 3 plus the square root of 5 squared and uh, just remember that this means the whole bracket squared so uh, we can't just do 3 squared plus the square root of 5 squared we have to do 3 plus the square root of 5 times 3 plus the square root of 5 and go through uh, multiplying out as we've done in the example above so 3 times 3 is 9 then we get plus 3 root 5 plus another 3 root 5 and uh, finally root 5 times root 5 which is 5 so this becomes 9 plus 5 is 14 and here we can simplify these two down we've got 3 lots of root 5 and another 3 lots of root 5 so that's uh, 6 root 5 and that's our final answer there that was our whole final answer there um, adding in uh, negatives we've just got to be careful with all of the signs so 3 minus root 7 times 2 plus uh, root 3 say that would give us so we'll do 3 times 2 which is 6 3 times root 3 is 3 root 3 and this time we've got minus root 7 times 2 so that's minus 2 root 7 and minus root 7 times root 3 so we've got uh, 6 plus 3 root 3 minus 2 root 7 and again root 7 times root 3 will rewrite as uh, root 21 and that's our final answer there take a harder example uh, we could do um, 2 root 5 minus root 2 times 4 plus 3 root 2 I well, don't be put off by the fact that there are uh, looks like there's a bit more to do here we're going to follow exactly the same method and just think carefully uh, about each uh, term so I'm going to start with this one 2 root 5 times 4 well that just gives us 8 times root 5 2 root 5 times 3 root 2 so that's 2 times 3 is 6 times root 5 times root 2 so that's 6 times root 10 these two we've got minus root 2 times 4 so that's minus 4 root 2 and the final term minus root 2 times 3 times 3 root 2 so that's 3 times root 2 times root 2 so that's 3 times 2 or 6 so we've got minus 6 again here uh, none of the terms are simplified down at all there's a case of this that doesn't look that different at first but turns out to be really important as well um, which is why I'll do that in a different colour so let's say if I have 3 minus root 2 times 3 plus root 2 here we get 3 times 3 is 9 minus 3 times root 2 and then we get um, plus 3 times root 2 as well from this one and the final term is minus root 2 times root 2 so that's just minus 2 you can see that minus 3 root 2 and plus 3 root 2 cancel out and we're just left with 9 minus 2 which is 7 another example of that sort of thing would be to do 1 times root 7 times 1 minus root 7 that would give us 1 plus root 7 minus root 7 uh, minus 7 which is minus 6 um, the reason these are quite nice is because I've taken two third expressions and I've ended up with a uh, a real just a a, a rational whole uh, number here an integer seven or 
or minus 6. And you might just recognize this as uh, something else you've come across, similar to something else you've come across in algebra, which is the difference of two squares, which is exactly uh, what this is. And that result, remember, says that uh, a plus b times a minus b equals a squared minus b squared. And that's exactly what these two examples here are. We've got a plus b in the first one, 3 plus root 2 times a minus b, 3 minus root 2. And that's given us a squared, which is 3 squared, or 9, minus root 2 squared, which is 2, or 7. Here we've got a plus b times a minus b, we've got 1 and 7, and we've ended up with 1, sorry, root 7, we've got 1 squared minus root 7 squared, which is 1 minus uh, 7, which gives us uh, minus 6. So actually, we wouldn't necessarily have to do all the multiplication now if we, if we remember that result. So if I've got something like, let's say if I had root 5 minus root 2 times root 5 plus root 2, well I could just say by this result that's root 5 squared, which is 5, minus root 2 squared, which is 2, and so the answer is 3. We're going to use this um, result here to do some division of third expressions and rationalizing the denominators in another video, which is another really important and useful uh, tool in manipulating thirds.